ఈనాటి కెమిస్ట్రీ క్లాస్ లోకి ఎంటర్ అయిపోదామా డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ నిన్నటి ఎపిసోడ్ లో ఆర్గానిక్ కెమిస్ట్రీ టాపిక్ కు సంబంధించి ఆల్కైల్ హైలైట్స్ లోని కెమికల్ ప్రాపర్టీస్ మరియు హ్యాలో ఎరైన్స్ గురించి కొన్ని అంశాలను తెలుసుకున్నాం కదా మరి ఈనాటి ఎపిసోడ్ లో అరైల్ హైలైట్స్ కు సంబంధించి కెమికల్ ప్రాపర్టీస్ తో పాటు ఆల్కహాల్ ఫినాల్ మరియు ఈథర్స్ యొక్క ఇంట్రడక్షన్ గురించి తెలుసుకుందాం మరి ఈ టాపిక్ ను కెమిస్ట్రీ బోధనలో పదిహేను సంవత్సరాల అనుభవం గల కె పవన్ కుమార్ గారు వివరిస్తారు when it comes to the chemical properties of aryl halides as discussed earlier one thing that distinguish the aryl halide from the alkyl halide is the connection between the carbon and the halogen as in case of aryl halides we can anticipate the lone pairs lying on the halogen to involve in resonance or delocalization resulting in the partial double bond character as we can see here very clearly that there is a double bond being created on the bond present between carbon and halogen by virtue of resonance when you extend the resonating structures of this aryl halides as we can see clearly there is a negative center being developed at the ortho and para positions of this aryl halide this is one of the vital point associated with the electrophilic aromatic substitution of aryl halide again coming to the point we could see clearly that there is a partial double bond character this we quote as partial double bond character because when we calculate the bond order of this carbon halogen bond we will see that the total number of bonds that are present between carbon and halogen in both the resonating structures is 3 and if i account only these two as the resonating structures i'll see that there is 1.5 bond order representing that it is not a single bond or it is not a double bond it is lying in middle that is why we call it as partial double bond character hence we can ascertain here one thing very clearly that the carbon halogen bond energy is high so that is the reason why the nucleophilic substitution reactions on the aryl halides are difficult to take place unlike the alkyl halide in which the nucleophilic substitutions are the characteristic reactions i mean these reactions are very much spontaneous as the carbon which is saturated has no problem whatsoever in replacing its halogen with the nucleophile provided this is a stronger one but when it comes to the aryl halide because of the partial double bond character that is present between carbon and halogen the nucleophilic substitution i mean if i use aqueous koh or something under mild conditions i cannot expect this x group to be replaced by the oh since this bond energy is turning out to be higher the same is true in case of the vinyl halides also in which also the scenario is same partial double bond character is being developed which is making this carbon halogen bond appear stronger so we can say finally that alkyl halides can be kept under one category as far as the reactions are concerned whereas the aryl halides and vinyl halides are difficult to crack as far as the nucleophilic substitution reactions are concerned 
it doesn't mean that the nucleophilic substitution cannot be carried out on the aryl halides we can apply the vigorous conditions so that this can be converted into the nucleophilic substitution product the vigorous conditions includes the strong base or the concentrated base the higher temperatures or the presence of electron withdrawing groups on the benzene ring to be more precise if we look at the type of reaction that are taking place on aryl halides now when we write the reactions or when we look at the reactions of aryl halide we will see that to replace the halogen with a nucleophile under the circumstances where this nucleophile can definitely replace this halogen the condition need to be applied the condition should be or the suggested condition should be higher temperature if possible pressure the high concentration of the strong base and the presence of the third and most important point is the presence of electron withdrawing groups on our benzene ring would fetch little for these reactions to take place quickly now when we comment on the presence of these electron withdrawing groups we will see that when the electron withdrawing groups are present they would make the nucleophile easily approach the aromatic ring which seldom happened to be the nucleophilic in nature for the reason that the pi electrons that are there in this compound are involved in continuous delocalization creating ring current and thus by repelling the nucleophile which can be reduced by the presence of electron withdrawing groups so electron withdrawing groups are going to drag the electron density from the benzene ring which will make the nucleophile easily approach the compound keeping these points in view the following mechanism has been suggested for the nucleophilic substitutions on aryl halides now when we see the reactions individually the first one as discussed in the preparation methods one is the benzene diazonium chloride mechanism or bdc mechanism in which we will see that the benzene diazonium chloride has lot of tendency to undergo the 